Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you two easy methods to root any Samsung device in 2025. Whether you're using a Galaxy S series, A series, M series, or even a Fold model, this guide will work for you. It's super easy to follow. Even if you're new to routing, you'll be just fine. And hey, making videos like this takes a lot of time and effort. So if it helps you out, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now before we start, here's a quick disclaimer. Routing your phone will erase all your data. And if done incorrectly, it can brick your device too. So please follow every step carefully. And remember, you're doing this at your own risk. Also, make sure your bootloader is unlocked before you begin. If you haven't done that yet or don't know how to do it, I recommend watching my bootloader unlock video first, then come back here. Alright, for this video, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy A52s. And yes, both of these root methods will work on any Samsung device, as long as you follow the steps properly. As you can see, this phone is running Android 14 with one UI version 6.1. First, let's enable the developer options. So tap on build number seven times until you see the message that developer mode has been enabled. Once enabled, go back and open developer options. Here you can see my bootloader is already unlocked. Make sure your device shows the same. If it's not unlocked, stop here and unlock it first using my other video. Now scroll further down in developer options and enable USB debugging as well. Once that's done, let's begin with method one. Root any Samsung device using the stock firmware and Magisk. On your PC, the first step is to download the correct firmware for your device. To do that, go to your phone's settings and note down the build number and serial number. Now on your browser, open the website samfw.com. Here, click on other tools and then click on check IMEI option. Here, enter your serial number, then click on check information and firmware button. And there you go. Now we've got all the key details like the exact model, country and more. Next, scroll down and click the second option. Download firmware as per your device region. This will display all the available firmware versions for your phone. Now look at the version list and find the one that exactly matches your build number. Compare carefully and here's mine, it ends in XK1. Just tap on it to start the download. Now just scroll down and click on download from Sam FW server. And that's it, your firmware download will begin. In my case, I'm going to cancel it because I already have the exact same firmware saved on my PC. All right, here's my firmware. Let me go ahead and extract it. Also, download the Odin tool from the link in the description and extract that as well. Also, make sure to download and install the Samsung USB drivers on your PC. Once that's all done, open the extracted firmware folder. Look for the file that starts with AP. This is the one we need. Now move that AP file to your phone's internal storage. Let me quickly do that. Once the file is copied to your device, open the Magisk app. Tap on install, then choose select and patch a file. Find and select the AP file you just copied, then tap on let's go. Magisk will now patch the file. This usually takes a minute, so just wait until it's done. And yes, the patched file is now created and saved in the downloads folder. Now go ahead and move that patched file back to your PC. Let me quickly switch over to the PC and move the patched file into the extracted firmware folder. Once that's done, open the Odin folder and run the odin.exe file to launch the flashing tool. Now inside Odin, click on the BL button and select the BL file from the firmware folder. Next, click on AP and choose the Magis patched file we just created. Then click on CP and select the CP file as well. Now for CSC, choose Home CSC if you want to keep your data. It gives a better chance, but it's not 100% guaranteed. 
Once all the files are added, it's time to put the device into download mode. First, connect your device with PC and restart your device. As soon as the Samsung logo disappears, press and hold both the volume up and volume down buttons at the same time. Keep holding until you see a blue warning screen. Then press the volume up button once and your phone will boot into download mode. Once your device is successfully connected to the PC, you should see an added message in Odin and COM15 at the top, which means we're ready to flash the files. Simply click on the start button to begin the flashing process. Odin will start flashing the files. This typically takes about 8 to 10 minutes. Once flashing is done, you will see pass message. So let me quickly fast forward this for you. Alright, the flashing is done, we got the pass message and the device is now rebooting. The first boot may take a little longer, so just be patient and let it start up. If your device doesn't reboot and get stuck on recovery, use the volume keys to reset the device and use the power button to confirm. Now that the device is rebooting, we should see the setup screen soon. So let's wait for it and I'll quickly set it up. The device has now booted up and everything is erased. But you'll notice that the Magisk app is already pre-installed. When we open it, it's asking for an update. Let me connect to internet and update it. Alright, the Magisk app is updated. Let's open it. And there we go. Magisk is successfully installed. And as you can see, the version is 29.0. So by this method, you can root any Samsung device using the stock firmware and Magisk. It works on most Galaxy phones, but if you're getting any errors or it didn't work for your model, don't worry. Now let's move on to method 2, routing your Samsung device using TWRP recovery. This method is also simple, but first, you'll need to install a custom recovery. I've already made a video on how to flash TWRP on any Samsung device, so watch that one first, then come back here to continue. Alright, I already have TWRP installed, so let me quickly boot into recovery mode. To do that, just restart your device and wait until Samsung logo disappear. Then press and hold volume up and power button together until you see the TWRP logo on screen. And there it is, we're now in TWRP recovery. Now if your device is encrypted, you won't be able to access internal storage here. In that case, you'll need to sideload Magisk using a PC or use an SD card or OTG drive instead. In my case, I've already copied the Magisk zip file to my SD card. You can download the same file from the link in the description and move it to your SD card or OTG drive before flashing. Next, just tap on the Magisk zip file, then swipe the slider at the bottom to confirm the installation. TWRP will now flash Magisk on your device. This should only take a few seconds. And yes, Magisk has been flashed successfully as you can see here. Now simply tap on Reboot System and your device will start up with root access enabled but I formatted the device earlier to remove encryption, it'll now boot into the initial setup screen, just like a new phone. No worries, I'll quickly go through the setup process so we can check if Magisk is installed and working properly. Alright, the device has booted up and Magisk is already pre-installed. Just like before, it's asking for an update, simply connect to the internet and the Magisk app will update automatically. Magisk is now updated. Let me go ahead and open it. Now it's saying additional setup required and the device needs to reboot to complete it. Simply tap OK and phone will reboot automatically. Let me quickly do that. And yes, as you can see, Magisk is successfully installed using this method too. Now let's also confirm root access using the root checker app. 
So let me quickly download and install Root Checker app. And there you go. It says root access is properly installed. That means your Samsung device is now fully rooted. And that's it. You've now seen two easy methods to root any Samsung device. One using the stock firmware with Majisk and the other with TWRP recovery. Both methods are beginner friendly and work on most Samsung phones in 2025. And if you have any questions or get stuck anywhere, drop a comment. I'll try my best to help you out. If this video helped you, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more Android tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.